So when I visited Wangu for the first time back in 2016, I got a really good feeling just walking around the campus. Deborah was showing me around and I just, I knew it was the place to be, you know? And I was coming from California. There's a lot of great schools out there, but um, I wanted this fresh new experience. And there was this air of excitement, you know, the possibilities here at Wangu. They were always talking about how the students that were starting at the time are the pioneers, not only at the school, but in the whole state of Nevada. Well, when I started in WSA as vice president, I was seeing this need for having school close. So we just got the ball rolling on that. We figured out you know, how to get it for a good price and how to make the design look really clean and meaningful. The design on the back, it's got the Bagua, which is from the I Ching. It's an ancient Chinese symbols. And that's a huge part of the theory of Oriental medicine. It's also combined with the Tai Guk, which is the Korean version of the Tai Ji. It really, I think, symbolizes that mixture of different styles of Oriental medicine. That's what we do here in the clinic. You know, we might have one week a patient might get a treatment that's very Chinese, and then the next week they might get a treatment that's very Korean. And so you get a nice mix of different modalities and we become masters of a whole scope of Oriental medicine. I want Wangu to be a recognizable brand. People see it and they immediately know that's Wangu. And then, because in the future, I really envision Wangu expanding, you know, not only being here in Las Vegas, but also in Reno and then in other states and then worldwide. It's really in a good position to become an internationally recognizable brand and change and integrate healthcare around the world.